I'm back with my 27 week pregnancy update. 27 weeks means that I'm officially in the third trimester, which is so, so exciting. I am just really happy to be here. I've, I mean, I've had a really altogether pretty like nice pregnancy aside from some little bumps in the first trimester, but I've really been enjoying it so far for the most part. And um, I just can't wait for this, this trimester. It's the home stretch. There's also a lot of really exciting things happening with, between like the holidays and uh, one more trip I've got planned and, um, and then obviously <laughs> giving birth. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to that and to meeting our little girl. But um, it's just a really exciting time. It feels, it feels very, very special um, and I'm really enjoying it. And something else that's really, really exciting that I can finally, I'm so happy I can finally tell you <laughs> is that my sister-in-law Emily is also expecting. And she's actually only, her due date is four weeks, almost to the day after mine. We're almost exactly four weeks apart. And I have known about her pregnancy since she took a positive pregnancy test, like she told us all right away. Um, but she and her husband, it's not that they didn't want to tell anybody. I mean, they told the immediate family and some of their friends, but they just didn't make it public knowledge until this last week. Um, so I was finally allowed to tell you, and I'm so happy that I can. They're expecting a little boy in the beginning of February um, to make their family now four. Um, so Grace is going to be a big sister, and they really wanted a boy, um, you know, for their second child. So that really worked out, and. Um, yeah, it's a really, really exciting thing for us to be pregnant at the same time because we can, you know, talk to each other about it and relate and stuff. And it's just been really exciting and I've been waiting to tell you. So um, now you know that that's happening as well. Also, a friend of mine is pregnant and due around the same time as my sister-in-law. So there's a lot of exciting pregnancy stuff happening lately in my, in my personal life, but... Um, Yes, that, those are like the most exciting things that I can share with you this week. And now I'm gonna go through, like I usually do, kind of like normal stats, symptoms, anything else that's happened this week. I'll answer some of your questions that you left in the comments from the last video. And at the very end, I'll show you anything I've hauled, um, like purchased or have been gifted for that's pregnancy or baby related. Okay, so this week I gained a pound does that mean, I think it's 21 pounds total now? Yes, so I'm up 21 pounds, which is all good. Um, the bump keeps on growing, man. I mean, it's, it's subtle changes, but it's enough that like when I'm actually doing, like it's subtle to me because I see myself every day, right? But when I'm looking at my side-by-side -side shots now um, that I put on my blog, and I will put a link to my coordinating blog post below if you want to see my little comparison week-by-week -week shot, like um, pictures, I mean shots, pictures. Uh, it's like kind of crazy, um, the, the difference that you can see in a week. Like there's not a lot of difference day by day, but in a week, there's like a huge amount of difference, so that's really exciting. In terms of cravings, strangely enough, I've been all about cereal this past week, and I have just never really been all that into cereal. Even as a kid, I really didn't eat it that much, and I never really got that excited about it. And we've always had cereal, but we never eat it. <laughs> like, we keep a box or so in our house, because sometimes Don wants some, but we just, we don't go through it. This week, it's like, I'm all about the cereal, and I've been really enjoying from Trader Joe's, their, um, I think they're their, their Berry O's. It's like their, their version of the Cheerio, like the Honey Nut O cereal, but it's got freeze-dried berries sprinkled in it. It's so good, I really like that. So I've been really into that. Version, still fish, it's a version. I, whenever I'm editing this video, I'm like, what is a version? It's a version. My version's still fish, that hasn't changed. But like I've been saying for the last, you know, a couple of months even, or maybe just like a month or so, it hasn't been so strong that like when I think of it, I get weirded out. It's just, I don't want to eat it. Um, so there's that. Uh, the baby is a size of a cucumber this week. So 15 inches, that's about, that's, that's big. <laughs> from 
from head, head to rump. I don't, that's probably not at all accurate. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, not head to rump, head to toe. Uh, so 15 inches and just over two pounds. So like two pounds and change. So she's, I mean, that's just an average. I don't know exactly what my baby is, but that's just like the average for this time of pregnancy. Um, so that's, there's a visual for you if you want. Um, what else? I'm looking at my little cheat sheet as usual because I can't remember anything. Oh yes, symptoms. Oh boy. So I think I have definitely gone through a belly and breast growth spurt this past week. Well, I know I have because first of all, my boobs like look ginormous to me, even more so. So it's my second big breast growth spurt, that was hard to say, um, of the pregnancy. I went through the first one almost immediately after I found out I was pregnant in my first trimester. And then it kind of like stayed the same. So I went up a bra size almost immediately, then I kind of stayed the same, and now I've gone up another bra size. So I've gone from originally a 32D, now I'm in a 36D. Um, and uh, your cup actually, the cup size actually gets bigger with each band size increase. So like a 32D cup would be equivalent to a 36B cup, but I'm in a 36D, so my cup size has grown as well as my band size. I definitely feel like my bump is growing and it's definitely growing more at the top now, like right under, I'm very short waisted, so I don't know if that's playing into it, but definitely feeling an expansion kind of like right under my breasts, which is making for some um, discomfort um, wearing bras, even with my bigger bras, which feel much better. By the end of the day, I feel like a little bit restricted in the chest and I need to take them off. And I've never been the kind of person who like has to take their bra off when they get home or anything like that. I've always been very comfortable in bras, but now I kind of feel like I feel that kind of constriction by the end of the day, um, which um, prompted me to buy some other. So I bought some new of my standard bras from Victoria's Secret that I really like, but I also bought some like maternity slash nursing bras, which I'll show you guys in the haul portion. But um, yeah, that seems to be changing. And also I'm wondering if my rib cage is not expanding because I know it does do that during the the, you know, the final stages of pregnancy, it will kind of open up to make room for the baby. And like I said, super short waisted, so she needs all the room she can get in there. So I wonder if that's playing into it too. Uh, or if it's just the uterus kind of getting bigger or what, I don't know. I really don't know. But all I know is by the end of the day, it's like I cannot breathe in a bra. Um, so that's been like the biggest symptom. It's not painful, it's just uncomfortable. Um, I really haven't had any haven't had any cramping in my legs or feet at all for a couple of weeks now, and I really haven't had any acid reflux all week. And I haven't been doing my apple cider vinegar shots either. I want to like get back into the habit of doing that on the daily. It's actually safe for pregnancy, um, and I know that the acid reflux is going to come back with a vengeance soon in my third trimester. So I kind of want to get back into the daily habit of that. And I just shoot like maybe a tablespoon mixed with a little water. And, and it just kind of helps um, with general digestion and well-being. I haven't had any issues with digestion since I've been pregnant, actually. That's been kind of a, a good side effect. Um, but yeah, so I've been feeling good. Aside from like the chest restriction issues in the evening, I've been feeling really, really good. And I've definitely gotten back to a good sleeping schedule this week. I had, didn't have any uninterrupted nights no, wait, I didn't have any interrupted nights this, this past week, which was nice, because the week before it was a little, little rough, but um, yes, sleep has been great, everything's been great, I'm doing great. Things that happened in the past week, Don and I went to our first kind of childbirth class kind of thing. We've actually signed, I signed up like almost immediately after I got pregnant and went to my first doctor's appointment and they gave me all the literature on the classes that the hospital provides or you have to pay for most of them, but you know, that are available. Um, I had signed up for those way back in the spring um, and they're not actually starting until later, until next month, I think, the ones that I've signed up for. I basically signed up for everything that seemed applicable to our situation. So we're gonna do that, like the child birth workshop weekend, and we're gonna do the, like, the breastfeeding class, and the taking care of baby basics, and like, you know, um, breastfeeding basics. We're doing all of that. Don's coming to all of them with me. He said he wants to. So I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, but that's not for a while yet, and I'll talk about all of those after they happen. But I also signed up through a local 
local, local, because I'm about to say yoga, that came out wrong. A local yoga studio um, uh, offers this um, yoga for childbirth workshop. So I had signed up for that. We went last Friday, and I just thought it'd be interesting, maybe give me a, a little bit of a different perspective than what the hospital classes would provide. Um, I, I just like getting information from a bunch of different places between books and online things and classes and word of mouth, you know, friends and family. Um, and then you, I, I like like knowing as much as I can and then kind of making my own choices but it's nice to be um, you know kind of as as informed as possible I like being able to go into those things with an open mind and be able to like pick and choose what seems like it would work for me so I thought the yoga for childbirth workshop might be interesting so we went it was last Friday night and it was really interesting. Honestly, it went, it was a little longer than I think it could have been because the information was very straightforward, helpful and kind of common sense, but also helpful to hear. And it was more, it wasn't so much about the delivery part of childbearing, it was more about the labor and how to use mind and body practices to kind of help you through labor, um, which I thought was really beneficial and probably something I'm not gonna get a lot of information from at those other classes. I don't know yet, but I'm kind of assuming that's why it would be a nice compliment. Um, so certain poses you could do, um, certain positions you can get into, not necessarily yoga related, but you know, it's just about that mind-body connection. And also frames of mind and a lot of a lot of encouragement and coaching for the, the birthing partner. So in that case, it's my husband. He's my, my birthing partner, right? He's gonna be the one who's helping me through. So it was a lot of information for him, um, for a frame of mind for him to help me. Um, so I thought that was really useful. We both enjoyed it. So that was, that was kind of our first little class together. So that was fun. And then we also, I've been doing over the last month or so I've been doing research on baby gear. I did most of it when we were in Hawaii and I had the time. Um, and then last week I kind of narrowed down my stroller and car seat picks to a few top choices. I kind of had already picked out the car seat. Um, I, I think we're going with the Nuna Pippa. I think that's how you say that. Um, that or the Britax Britax? Brit I don't know how to pronounce any of these things. 35 or something? I don't know. Those are, it's between those two. I'm kind of leaning towards the Nuna Pippa. Uh, but I narrowed down our stroller choices to three. So it was the, um, the Nuna Mix, which is a rather new stroller, so there's not a lot of user reviews on it. The Upa Baby Vista and the um, City Select the Baby Jogger City Select. Um, so we went on Sunday to a local store that had all of those where we could test drive them and that ended up being really, really, not only just like informative, but actually really fun thing to do together. And um, I was, I was kind of leaning towards one stroller going in and by the time we came out we were both like pretty much like set and both in total agreeance about, agreeance, is that a word? I don't think so either. Agreement, I don't know, whatever. I like making up words um, about another stroller that we're gonna go through. So I might do a blog post on that. I don't know if I have time. I'll, I'll throw that up today for you guys. Um, to kind of talking through, you know, how I narrowed it down to those three, and then and then the difference between the three that I found through my research and how we picked the one we did. We haven't bought it yet. I, well, we want to wait to buy it closer to when baby is born, just for the warranty, so the warranty is covered more when she's using it, you know, instead of buying it now and having it sit in the house for three months. Um, so I think it takes a few weeks to order the, the stroller, so I'll probably order them in um, like the stroller and the car seat in mid-November so we can have them in December for, the, for our January baby. Um, so oh, that was a lot of things. That was all that happened this week, um, for the most part. That's, well, that's r relevant to pregnancy. Um, so now for your questions. So every week I ask you guys to leave me your questions that are either baby or pregnancy related in the comments below. And then I pick three and I answer them. I try not to repeat answers, sometimes I do because, you know, brain fog, but um, I try to pick ones that seem popular and relevant to the t period, like the timing of things. Okay, so the questions this week. Last week I talked about how we are having, I mean, 
it's not we, Don's not, I guess it's really my baby shower. Um, I like to say everything pregnancy related is we, but it's, it's really my baby shower. I am having a baby shower. Um, I talked about that last week. It's in mid-November. My sister-in-law is throwing it for me, which is so, so sweet. Um, and I got so many questions if I'm going to film the baby shower. And no, I'm not going to be vlogging the baby shower. First of all, I would just feel really uncomfortable because there's so many people coming to it that I'm not sure if they're like camera shy or camera friendly and I don't really want to impose on them and like ask, you know, it, it just doesn't seem like the right situation for that. And also, I'm going to be kind of busy since the party is, you know, in honor of me. Um, so I don't want to be like whipping out my camera and being distracted by that. I want to be able to give my full attention, um, especially when my sister-in-law is going to so much trouble to do so, such a nice thing for me. So no, I'm not going to film it, but I did hire a professional photographer to come and photograph the event and I will be doing a full recap blog post for you guys. At least that's the plan. Um, so, so there will be sharing and I'll talk about it probably, but I'm not going to be filming it. And I hope you guys understand why. Um, second question. Oh yes, I was asked why, I mean as somebody who likes to plan ahead and enjoy shopping, why I haven't purchased a lot of things for the baby and haven't really like started in on her room yet. Um, and this is really a two part answer. First of, well it's really a three part answer. First of all, I've been super busy between all of the travel we did this summer up and through the early fall and then just all of the I'm just spending like all of my time working on content right now because I'm really into it, so I'm going with that. Um, so that's the first part of the answer. The second part of the answer is I personally think it's better if I wait until after our shower and to see what things that we receive as gifts before I do a lot of shopping. It seems kind of um, like I don't want to buy things that somebody might want to buy for us. So I'm just going to wait until after the shower to do most of the purchasing of whatever, you know, else we need. Um, and also I wanted to wait to buy things until it was a little closer to when she was born in the event that I want to return or exchange things. It's just easier if it's within a certain time period with most stores. So, um, like especially with clothing and stuff, I'm really waiting until probably the last minute to do a lot of like clothing shopping, but I'm kind of thinking we're going to get a lot of clothes at the shower too. So probably do a lot of like gear shopping um, in like late November, early December. Um, and then the third part of the answer is that I just, you know, right when we started trying, I did do a little kind of like dream planning about the nursery. I had a little book where I like cut out pictures and printed out pictures online and like pasted them in and, and made a little dream nursery book. And then a few months into our trying to conceive journey, it just got too painful to do. The first year of trying to conceive was really difficult emotionally for me and it just got hard to do. So I just said, I'm just going to put this away until if one day I am fortunate enough to be pregnant. So um, that's what I did. And I am going to talk about, I am going to share a blog post soon, actually, hopefully soon, about my um, preconception journey and, and how that, you know, the emotional part, aspect of that, because that was requested. So I'm going to do that in blog post form, but um, I will let you guys know when that goes up. So it was kind of, it's not that I'm superstitious, it's just that it wasn't, it just didn't feel like realistic for me to do until I knew we were having a healthy child. Um, and now it's just a matter of timing and basically a matter of time. So um, I'm hoping that I will have more time in November and December to work on the baby's room and finish up purchasing things. And that was kind of my plan from the start of this pregnancy. I never had plans to like start on that earlier. Um, we've ordered the furniture. I'm gonna have her room painted this month um, and I'm gonna work on her closet probably at the beginning of November. And that's really like, and like the everything else is kind of just decor. Like I, there's not much I can do until the furniture comes. So um, hopefully it comes before she's born. But like I said in a previous video, um, it's not a big deal if the furniture doesn't arrive. It might arrive before she's born, it might not. But she's gonna sleep in here um, in a bassinet with us in this room. Um, 
for at least a little while. So I'll have some time after she's born and I will be sharing the room and all of that um, with you guys. It just might not be till after she's born because I don't know when it will all come together. But I hope that kind of gives you a really, that was a really long winded answer to that question. But that's really like the whole truth of it. It was just a, it's a bunch of parts. <sighs> and then lastly, I got some nice compliments on my <laughs> scraggly hair last week. I don't know. I always think it looks like awful, but I guess it has been looking better. Um, and I was asked if I've noticed any difference in my hair, skin, or nails since since being pregnant. Um, noticed an immediate change in my skin. Like seriously, right after I found out I was pregnant, my skin did a total 180. I was having hormonal breakouts that were related to my cycle um, up until the up until conception, and those just stopped once I conceived. And since I've been pregnant, I've been really fortunate that my skin has been pretty well balanced, and it's, it hasn't been um, acne prone. Um, I'm definitely producing less oil. In general, my skin is drier, so I have to be a little bit more diligent about moisturization. I've always been big on moisturizing, but just have to be a little bit more, you know, focused on that, but that hasn't been a problem. And I've been able to keep my skin very, I mean, my body and my face very well balanced, just using products that I'm liking right now. Um, so yeah, that's been the skin. The skin's been good. Um, in terms of my nails, they've I've been on prenatal vitamins for like almost three years now, or longer even. Um, so I noticed my nails did get a lot better when I started taking prenatals, but it's been like that for years. I haven't really noticed a change in them since I've been pregnant. Um, maybe in the beginning it felt like they were growing a little faster, but now it feels kind of normal. But they are definitely much better than they were before I was on prenatals. Um, and then in terms of my hair, honestly, I haven't noticed a huge difference in it. It's still the same texture. It's still the same. Um, it's. I feel like maybe I've grown a little bit more of it and shed a little bit less of it, which is totally normal during pregnancy. And I know you can sh shed a lot after you give birth um, because your. I mean, your your hair growth cycles kind of get like interrupted by the pregnancy, um, but. I don't feel like it's been growing particularly any faster. It's just been behaving better. I think that's the best way I can say it. It just, I feel like it's just been easier to deal with. And I haven't gotten a cut. I got my hair cut about a month after I conceived. And I haven't gotten a cut since. And I usually would have gotten a cut by now. Um, and I'm just kind of letting it go to see what happens because I feel like this is probably the best it's ever gonna be, so I might as well see while I have the chance. So I'm gonna let it grow for a while, but then if it gets like kind of, it's still kind of, I don't know, it's not perfect, but it's definitely, I think it's just been behaving better. Um, but I, you know, I can't complain, it's it's nice. Um, so those were the questions from this week. If you guys have questions you'd like me to answer for next week, please leave them in a comment below and I will pick three, do my best to answer them. So now, okay, I have a lot of things to show you because like I said, I bought new bras. My um, Body by Victoria bras. I think it's like the perfect coverage. This is my favorite one. I just went up a size, that's not different. But then I went on to Amazon and after a bunch of research, I found a couple of nursing bras that people re recommended for maternity wear as well. Um, I'm kind of assuming these might, I mean, I don't really know. I'm kind of thinking these might fit me when I give birth and I am going to try to breastfeed. Like that's definitely in the plan. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try. Um, because they're not a cup and band size. They're, they go by small, medium, large, extra large. I bought them in a medium and the medium looks like will accommodate another size up from where I am as well. Um, so... We'll see. These got the really the best reviews that I found. They're by Bravado, and it's the Body Silk Seamless. It came in a pack of two. They were not inexpensive. I feel like it was like $80 for two, which seemed like a lot, but they got the best reviews, and I just wanted something without underwire that I can wear that has some support to it. So it, it's, you know, it kind of looks like a sleep bra, but with a little more oomph to it. It's got the nursing bit clip thing, which I can never do unless it's on me. Um, so you can like, you know, do that. Um, it's got a lot of hooks on the back. It's got four rows of hooks, so there's a lot of room there. Um, three hooks going down. 
and um, it seems pretty supportive. It's got a little built-in padding. I don't like padding in my bras, but a little like light lining I like. So those have that. So I bought the two, the set that came in, both the black and the, they call this butterscotch, but it's basically like a nude. And then I also wanted to try like a sleep bra. Not that I'm gonna sleep in a bra, but something really, really comfortable that I could just throw on in the evenings if I'm feeling like really constricted. And this one, what is the, where is it? It's by Viami, Viami, I have no idea. But it got really, really good reviews. I bought a medium just to try it. So I haven't washed these yet. I'm gonna wash them today and give them a try. I'll let you guys know. And that was all I thought I was gonna buy. But then I saw these and it was like two for 20 bucks. So I was like, well, I might as well try those. And these are by Love SIA. And they look a lot like the um, Bravado ones. They have a little bit more padding in them. Um, but I thought, you know, just for $20, it's worth trying. Two for 20, I mean, they're basically like $10 each. Something like that, 20 or 25, I can't remember. but. I'm gonna try them, it's like a lot of bras I realized, but I figured those were so inexpensive, it was worth trying. Um, so we'll see how those go. I mean, on a daily basis, I like wearing an underwire support. My doctor said it's perfectly safe for me to wear underwire. Um, some people think it like interferes with milk production. Um, and I just like feel more comfortable when I'm out in an underwire because I like the like lift and separate kind of look. Um, but. It's nice to also have that option too and to like kind of get used to wearing those so hopefully after I give birth and I'm breastfeeding that I can wear those comfortably. We'll see. I also bought a belly support band and this is by Braku, I think. This is kind of a weird thing. But um, I thought, you know, now that I'm in my third trimester, it might just help to have a little extra support when I'm on the elliptical machine or if I'm gonna be on my feet a lot, like especially with Thanksgiving. I, I bought this really thinking of Thanksgiving. And it's this really interesting design where you, like it straps around your belly, right? But then you can also kind of like add extra support with these side straps. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but. It was not terribly expensive. My doctor said it was safe to use. She said don't spend a lot of money on it, but it is safe to use one. So I thought I'd give that a try. And then I finally, I bought my first item of clothing for the baby. Um, and I've, I've been hesitant to buy clothing, just like I said, because um, you know I, I don't know what we're gonna receive and, and it feels like too soon to do that. But I saw this in um, Baby Gap and I just about died. It's like the cutest little romper. And I, I meant to buy a zero to three months, but I accidentally picked up a three to six months. So I'm probably gonna return this. My, I know people say to buy like a variety of sizes of clothing for the baby, but my feeling is I don't know what she's gonna like wearing and I don't know what I'm gonna like dressing her in until she's here. So I'm really only registered for and planning to buy zero to three month and like newborn clothing not a lot of newborn clothing, but you know, some. Um, because I figure I can always buy things after she's here and I know what she's like for later on. Um, but I just, I went into Baby Gap because I had actually registered for some things from there um, and I wanted to see them in person. Um, so I did. I didn't register through Baby Gap, I registered through another website, but our registry is private. Um, I talked about that last week as well. Okay, and now I'm going to show you some of the wonderful and thoughtful things that you guys sent. You guys are so sweet. I can't, I can't get over it. Um, Rachel from the UK sent this really cute um, Peter Rabbit card. I love it. I love Peter Rabbit. Um, and she sent a couple of little clothing items for the baby. This sweet little shirt, which is, I believe, three to six months. How cute is the little panda? I love that. And then this absolutely darling garden dress. I mean, is this not like sigh worthy? So cute. And it's an, again, it's three to, uh, three to six months. Um, so very, very sweet and thoughtful. And I just, I just love it. Thank you, Rachel. Lacey from Australia sent this sweet card. A new baby, how wonderful. And she actually sent um, this baby gift set, this little Winnie the Pooh baby gift set for, for us. And it has a teething toy and a pacifier and some bottles and a brush and comb, all Winnie the Pooh themed. So cute, you guys know we love Winnie the Pooh. And she actually knit, knit this hat for us and she said it's the first knit item she's made from a pattern. And I just thought that was so sweet that she wanted to send it to us like her very first thing. And I just 
blew me away. Thank you so much. How thoughtful. And really, you did a really good job. It's beautiful. So thank you, Lacey. Gwen from Ohio sent this gorgeous quilt. She said she got on Etsy from, oh, what's the shop name? Quilt Mine. I will try to find it and link it for you below. Uh, Gwen, these are the perfect colors for our nursery. I'm definitely, I mean, I'm doing a neutral nursery with pops of lavender, and this will go so beautifully. And it's just a gorgeous quilt. It's absolutely stunning. Beautifully handmade. Um, I love the backing as well. It's just... It's absolutely gorgeous, so thank you so much. We will definitely put this to good use. Thelma from Georgia sent us a really sweet gift as well, a little outfit for the baby, super cute. Uh, zero to three months size. So it comes with this cute little birdie sweater. It's kind of like a, a jacket, like a lightweight jacket with a little hat that matches. The hat actually has a bow. And then it comes with a matching birdie onesie. And I love the little pants with the feet. How cute is that? And the little socks, the little like chenille slipper socks are just so soft and adorable and it's just really thoughtful. And the brand is called Nursery Rhyme if you're curious, but this was just such, such a thoughtful and sweet gift and, and we love it. Thank you, Thelma. And then Susan from Tennessee, who is one of, I recognize as one of my longtime viewers, thanks for your continued support, Susan, sent us this beautiful card and a really, really beautiful Disney-themed gift. We have this little Minnie Mouse long sleeve uh, one piece. This is three to six months, super cute, with little matching pants with the little, like, I don't know, what do we call this? What print is this? I, it's just adorable, let's just call it that. And then also a little pink mini blanket. How cute is that? And then she also included this gorgeous spoon from Stirring Words. Um, and it says, baby, has baby girl engraved in it. Isn't that beautiful? I just thought this was a really thoughtful and lovely gift. Thank you so much, Susan. I also received some wonderful cards and letters in the mail from you. Um, a nice note from Carol from the UK and a couple of letters, one from um, Sydney in South Carolina and then Lizzie from Illinois sent a note as well and said that she made a donation to a local children's hospital thinking of us, which was really generous of her. Molly from California sent this really cute card. I love the elephant, like how cute is that? Again, different cards this week. I still, we haven't gotten any duplicates, but thank you Molly for thinking of us. And Emily from Minnesota sent us this really sweet card as well. And I just, I love your cards, you guys. They mean so much to me. Thank you so much for thinking of us. I hope you enjoyed this super long update. I'm sorry, I had so much to share this week. I always think they're gonna be shorter, but then I always have so much to talk about. But um, I hope you enjoyed my update. Thank you so much for your kind words and encouragement and advice and support as always. And I'll see you next week with another update. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.